Square frames are back in in 2022. And if you're in the market for a new pair of square glasses, this video has got everything you need to choose your perfect pair. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you're looking for square glasses, that's what today's video is going to be all about. I'm going to be taking you through my thought process when I style someone with a new pair of square glasses and all the different elements that I consider when helping them to choose the right ones. I'm going to be showcasing some of the very, very best eyewear brands from all over the world. Brands that you may not have seen before, but represent not only the best quality, but the coolest and most innovative styles within the industry to showcase some of the little details and some of the options that are available when you choose your next pair of square frames. So this is the 7-2 that I'm actually wearing so far. This is by Fast Fast, an independent brand from Paris who make beautiful and very unique styles. I mean, that goes for all of the brands you're gonna to see today. But Fast to Fast are typically Parisian, elegant, playful. And playful is the word that I would use to describe this particular square frame that we see with the accented brow bar and a relatively thin acetate front. Let's now compare this against the other styles that I've got here to show you. So, as I said, the first thing that your eye is drawn to, of course, is the green brow bar. And I started with this frame for a reason, because that's one of the first decisions you need to make when choosing a new pair of square frames. 10 years ago, this wouldn't have been a question, but now double brow bars, like you see here, are really on trend. And of course, having it bright green does bring more attention than normal to the style. But if we compare that, for example, against the Reykjavik Eyes Carl that you see here, the brow bar on this pair is far more subtle almost to the point of invisibility, but it still gives these glasses that little bit of extra edge and character. So Reykjavik Eyes, if you don't know, are an independent brand from Iceland, Reykjavik being the capital of Iceland. And these are virtually indestructible glasses, as you can see. They're also completely screwless, made from Japanese titanium, which is one of the strongest metals that you can make a pair of glasses from. And not only are they indestructible, but they are practically weightless. I would say that Reykjavik Eyes glasses are the most comfortable in the world personally, from my experience and from the experience of my clients, hundreds or even thousands of whom have Reykjavik eyes glasses. The Carl is a titanium frame with an extra insert of acetate around the lens rim, just to give a little bit more definition. And you'll notice that all the square frames that I've picked today have that definition. I think if you're going with a square look in 2022, you've got to own it. You see, square is in some ways the most boring shape. So to make it stylish, you need to make it impactful. You need to make it bold. So let's compare the Carl, which is, as I say, quite minimalistic and quite subtle in comparison against, for example, this Gucci pair. This is the 1138. And it's about as chunky as you wanna go with a pair of glasses, as you can see, particularly in black, because black is very harsh against the skin. Very, very dominant, very almost overstyled, but that is what Gucci do. They are maximalist in their, not just glasses, but in their clothing lines as well. You've even got a lilac print for the Gucci logo just to add a little bit extra as if they needed it. And whilst I do like the 1138, I can't help but feel that it would be too bold and just a step too far for the majority of people. Of course, if you're really looking for that edgy, dominant, bold above all look, this is gonna do that. But most people are looking for something a bit more everyday. So in comparison, let's jump to the Federico by Robert LaRoche. Robert LaRoche are a heritage brand from Austria, founded in the 70s. And Robert LaRoche's styles were popular with the likes of Andy Warhol and lots of interesting personalities of the time. Now this is almost as chunky as the Gucci 1138 that we just looked at. But being in blue, I think that softens it a lot compared to the black. And one thing I absolutely adore about this style is the way that the front is actually chamfered inwards. That's a really, really unique look. And it gives the glasses beautiful three-dimensionality, as well as almost like a projection of the lens backwards from the front of the frame. Very difficult to describe until you see it in person. Hopefully the camera will show it up. But it really gives these glasses an extra style element, I would say. The glossy finish, only adds to that effect. Not only that, but the gold rivets and gold 
eight barrel hinges, I think that is, which is just insanely solid, give these glasses a really premium look. And they are an extremely premium brand. Robert LaRoche are all made in Italy from the highest quality acetate. And seriously, some of the most striking glasses that I've come across. But I still think the blue is a lot more wearable than the black, even though it might be difficult to pair with different outfits. So let's flip that over to look at, where should we go next? Luca de Stael. So Luca de Stael are by far the most expensive and premium brand on this table. But the first thing I wanna point out is just how neutral this frame is compared against the Federico, because this is actually made from stone, which obviously has this gray coloration to it. Very unique coloration, which under close inspection allows the observer to really see its true natural beauty. These are stone on the outside and leather on the inside, so they have a beautiful feel. Not weightless like the Reykjavik eyes, albeit not much heavier either, but they have a soft cushioned effect. Absolutely gorgeous to wear. They make the wearer feel like they have luxury on their face. And Luca de Stael are luxury on the face. Now they have this similar kind of chamfered front to the Federico that I showed you. But whereas the Federico is chamfered inwards, the Luca de Stael is chamfered outwards for even more dynamism from this look. I think that adds a really unusual character to these glasses and that's one of the things that I like best about them. But having it in the gray means that you can wear this down, you can dress it casually, you can dress it up, it can be a bit more formal. This is probably the most versatile frame out of all the ones that I have to show you today. And I love Luca de Stael. They hand make all their glasses in Paris from natural materials. And there's just nothing more original than that. I mean, literally because they're made from natural materials, you never get two pairs the same. And that's the exciting thing with a pair of Luca de Stael frames. Each one is limited edition almost. And speaking of natural materials, let's compare these against the JF Ray carbon wood. This model is called the 3001. And JF Ray, for those who are new to the channel, is my favorite eyewear brand. I love, love, love JF Ray because they are just so adventurous, so artistic in their design of glasses. And the reason why I brought this one to the table is because maybe more so than all of the other frames, these have just a bit more quirkiness to the shape. And that's where you can experiment and play around with square glasses. They don't have to be a perfect box. They can have a little bit of shaping to them in the corners, which is gonna give your glasses maybe a bit more originality. Now, as I mentioned, these are from the carbon wood series, which means they are actually made from carbon fiber at the bottom of the frame and wood at the top. This is a lovely, lovely gray wood. Again, just like I said with the Luca de Stael, that's gonna mean that each pair of these is gonna be unique. But it's not really so much about the materials on this carbon wood frame, it's all about the shape. And that adventurousness that JF Ray have, it really shows in the style of the frame. And this pair of glasses always brings a smile to my face, as most JF Ray glasses do, because they are just that bit more original. So if you're looking for square glasses with a twist, I would definitely recommend JF Ray as a brand in general, but shapes like this that just bring a little bit of quirkiness to your glasses. And finally, speaking of quirkiness, if you really want a unique, but wearable and also stylish color in 2022, I very much recommend Crystal. Now this pair are made by Kazal in Germany. Kazal, one of the absolute legends of eyewear who have come up with some of the most iconic looks over the years, huge in the music industry, they have the most oversized shape out of any on this table. And I've showed you some pretty big frames so far. This frame is massive. Having said that, because half of this frame is titanium, all the gold you see here is titanium, they're actually very, very lightweight. They are probably the third lightest weight after the Reykjavik eyes and the Luca de Stael. They're certainly not uncomfortable to wear despite their pretty enormous size. This is the 6027 and I love it in crystal. I think it's an absolutely epic frame. But crystal is a great color to choose in 2022. If you want that slightly more kind of out there look, you know, black's been done before, torture shell's been done so many times that I didn't even want to show you a torture shell pair today. And colors can be sometimes quite limiting as you see with the, the Fasa Fas in green, the Federico by Robert LaRoche in blue. This is not gonna be limiting as such, it's gonna be quite neutral, but it still has that cool, unusual, interesting coloration to it. 
And a top tip from me would be to pair a frame like this with a tint, just to give a bit more definition to the whole look. Crystal frames always suit a tint. There's absolutely no exception to that rule. So, I hope this video has been useful to you. I hope it's helped you to kind of understand my thought process and what kind of elements I look for when choosing a pair of square glasses for a client. If you're looking for a pair of square glasses, I'd love to help. You can either email me and I'll put my email in the description or leave a comment in the comment section. I mean, that might be easier. If you found this video helpful, give us a like. And for more of the most amazing and unique glasses sourced from all over the planet, like you've seen today, subscribe. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.